This is Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time I will be uh, doing my top Hot Toys of the year. I did this last year and I'm going to do it again this year. Last year I had 7 Hot Toys in this list, while well, this year I have 9, and one of those categories actually has 2 figures in it. So overall I did buy 10 new Hot Toys figures that came out this year, and there were actually 3 others that came out a couple years ago that I did buy. Of course I'm not going to be including those in this video though, because I'm only including figures that I bought this year that came out this year, as well as I did do one custom. So this I'm going to be ranking all the figures that I got, starting off with the one that I found most disappointing up to the one that I uh, liked the most. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, at the ninth spot we have the Hot Toys Jatari Commander as well as the Foot Soldier. I'm putting them together in this because they are so similar. Um, so overall, this these were my most disappointing figures of the year. Um, still not bad ones, I have to say, but just I, I was really looking forward to these guys, and they're very nice. They're just, the fact that they're all plastic, you know, gives it a little bit of a Hasbro type of feel, not to mention just the, the paint is a little, little weird on them, at least on the Commander, I think. Overall, some nice figures, definitely not too fun though, and I was really hoping they'd be a lot, uh, uh, you know, more fun. And overall, I do like them, as well as they're they're very upright uh, in their in their posture. While in the movie, I found them to be crouching down uh, like most of the time, and there isn't any articulation, uh, no ab cruncher, there's no ball drawn upper torso, no way to give them that kind of a uh, crouch down type of look, which I feel like the. Every time we saw Jatari, he was crouched down. So overall, I just don't think that these fit the movie completely. I think that they are quite nice pieces. You can definitely tell that they're Hot Toys quality, but definitely deserving the, the lowest spot in my countdown, which is the ninth place. The eighth spot of my list goes to Bruce Banner from the Hot Toys Avengers line. So overall, a, a pretty nice figure. A little lacking just in the fun department, because mostly because of the character. There's really not a lot of poses you can put him in. If you put him in a fighting pose, it just looks weird, because Bruce Banner really doesn't fight as Bruce Banner. And if you put him in a transforming into Hulk pose, he looks strange, because his face is just so so bland. You know, if he had some expression to him, like he's in pain, or, you know, there's just something going on, then putting him in a pose where he's transforming would be really nice. Uh, but overall, I think that uh, this is a decent figure. Definitely not a bad one in any stretch, but definitely doesn't deserve a very high place on my list. That's why he is at number 8. At the seventh place, we have Thor from Thor 2. Overall, figure-wise, a really nice looking figure. He looks stunning. I love the new head sculpt. I think it's perfect. Um, I do like the bare arms. The only problem I have is that they're rubber. Now, I, you know, I definitely think the rubber looks nice, but it's just, it's hard to pose it because you're worried about bending or cracking the rubber, and therefore, I didn't pose the arms very much at all, meaning it wasn't that much of a fun figure because I couldn't put him in a bunch of cool poses because I was afraid of bending the arms. Definitely a figure that looks incredible and very pristine, but a character that's not very fun to pose. Now, I just, I'm as I'm doing this countdown, I'm seeing the pictures that are showing up from the Toy Soul Fair, uh, uh, 2014 of the Age of Ultron figures and that Thor there looks like exactly like this one so I don't think they're gonna change it much um, but overall a nice Thor definitely deserving that seventh place and on my countdown Right, that sixth spot goes to the Man of Steel himself, Superman. Overall, a really nice, fun figure. One of the first figures that came with the dynamic base, which made him very interesting, and definitely a figure that well deserves that base. Sometimes I think they're coming out with that base a little bit too much, um, but this figure is definitely one that needs it, I feel. Head sculpt is very nice. The entire bodysuit is really well done, and I really love the cape. Wish there was a wire in the cape, but overall, a very fun figure. Um, one that, you know, you're a little worried about putting creases in the suit, but other than that, a lot of fun and uh, just a really great looking Hot Toys figure. Alright, and the fifth spot goes to the Winter Soldier. Overall, a really nice, fun figure. Comes with a ton of accessories, two really good face sculpts, and really all you could want. Overall, really fun. Um, you know, a figure that I thought that I would pose a little bit more than I do. Uh, you know, I just kind of leave him on my shelf. While I thought that this figure was going to be one that I'd have a ton of fun with, always taking him off and posing him, well, I really didn't. But other than that, I really do think this is a great figure. Definitely deserving that, uh, that fifth spot on my countdown.
That fourth spot rightfully goes to the Bank Robber Joker 2.0. Overall, a figure that was a lot of fun, ton of accessories, and ton of uh, just cool ways to pose him and have him interact with uh, with other figures from the Dark Knight. Really a nice figure, a little overpriced, um, but considering it was a Comic Con and Sideshow exclusive, I understand the price. I just wish that it wasn't, uh, you know, so much more than it really should have been. But overall, really enjoyed the figure. Head sculpt being new was really great. They could have reused another one. I would have liked them to use a head sculpt or a face sculpt that had his hair pushed back like he had in that scene. Other than that though, really great figure, definitely deserving a high spot on my, uh, my list, which is why he's at number four. Third spot goes to an Iron Legion figure. It is the Iron Man 3 Silver Centurion uh, armor. So overall, really do love the Iron Man armors. I think that they're one of the most fun of the Hot Toys figures. I find myself coming back to Iron Man figures a lot more than other figures because there's just a lot of cool, fun ways to pose them. You don't have to worry about messing up the costume because there isn't any, um, you know, fabric or, you know, rubber on him. It's all, you know, plastic, which is nice not to have to worry about, as well as you get a bunch of different inter interchangeable items usually which really help uh, the you know coming back to value because you can always switch it out or do something different with this one uh, I would consider the best Iron Legion figure in the fact that it is on the lower end price range it is $250 yet you get more than the average Iron Legion figure comes with you get battle damage parts you also get a Tony Stark face sculpt and you get a weapon which the other figures are really mostly not coming with anything except for the display base, which this one also comes with. So overall, definitely uh, worth being on this list. As an Iron Legion figure, I think it's the best one to get value for money, especially since the character is also a lot better than a lot of the other Iron Legion figures as uh, uh, characters, as this one was in the movie for more than a few seconds and it was actually worn by Tony Stark. So overall, I think that this is an absolute must-have for Iron Legion collectors, and this was definitely a great, fun figure with some new advanced articulation um, areas uh, compared to the the other armor that I have, which is the Mark 7, this one it, uh, expanded upon the articulation in a lot of areas, which made it a very fun and uh, a figure that I definitely found myself coming back to to pose often. Now we're going to the big leagues, as this is my second favorite figure, uh, Hot Toys figure of the year. We have the Man of Steel, General Zod. So overall, this was one of my most anticipated figures, and a figure that really didn't disappoint. I was pretty amazed by how much articulation this guy actually retains, uh, considering he has a immense amount of armor covering his entire body with a full bodysuit underneath, and yet he still maintains a large, a very large amount of articulation, which is incredibly surprising. Surprising. As well as, uh, there's something that he has that really no other figure on this entire list has, and it's something I think Hot Toys should do a lot more, and that has a great expression on the face. This is one of the things that I didn't like about the Bruce Banner, which I expressed earlier in this video, is that uh, Hot Toys really doesn't use facial expressions very much at all. If they do anything, it won't be more than just a smirk. And this is uh, an exception to that. They actually have a very, you know, full, mean, angry-looking face. Now, unfortunately, Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of people don't like that type of idea because I did see a lot of reviews where they were complaining about that. Um, in my opinion, though, it is absolutely fantastic, and I'm really happy that they did include it on this figure. If this this figure is so much better, in my opinion, with this face sculpt than if they just did a regular standard series face. I absolutely love this figure, and he's just he's a, he's a hunk of plastic. I have to say, he is heavy. You know, this is one of the first times that I've picked up you know a large amount of my Hot Toys uh, uh, figure to do this video. I've been picking them up one after the other, and when I picked up this guy, his weight is far greater than the other Hot Toys, I have to say. You can definitely feel the amount of plastic that went into this one compared to some of the other figures, because this guy is heavy, and he's just an absolutely amazingly designed figure, and definitely deserving that second spot. I did consider him putting at number one, but I did find one other figure that I found a little bit more fun than him, but overall, this is a, uh, an amazing figure. Definitely in my have, especially since it doesn't seem to be selling very well. It's still in stock on Sideshow, and I definitely think that it should uh, be selling very well. So my number one favorite hot toy of the year might surprise you. It is the Iron Man 3 The Mandarin. Now this one surprised me. I expected to like this guy a lot, but I did not expect to be putting it at my number one spot. 
Um, I found this figure to be incredibly fun, and like I've said in a lot of my other top 10, you know, top 5 videos, that is, uh, you know, kind of what I look at as one of the higher qualities. Um, I definitely look at the toy quality and how good the toy is itself, but another one that I look at is how fun it is, because if I find myself coming back to certain figures to repose and stuff, it means a lot, because these guys, you know, they're 200 to 300 or higher uh, dollar figures, and to buy a figure like that, that and then just to kind of just throw it in your shelf and never do anything with again is definitely disappointing. So to be to be able to get your money's worth for these figures by enjoying them is definitely something that is highly valued to me. And this was a figure that I absolutely found myself coming to a lot. He has just really good articulation and I think that the you know the reason for that is that his clothes are rather baggy. And that's something that we don't see a lot. Many figures are very tight suited, you know, just their their suits are completely stuck to their body because you know that's a that's a very superhero uh, kind of look well this guy is the opposite he's got very baggy clothing allowing the clothing not to get in the way at all so that makes it a lot of fun to pose I think he's got a lot of character and he comes with some great accessories one of them being the chair I think that having him in the chair is wonderful it can show a lot of the character um, just by by that chair because I have him very slouch and to the side which I think really represents that type of character um, or at least the, the character that he was playing basically. So overall, although I was very disappointed in how the Mandarin was portrayed in the movie, Hot Toys figure-wise, this is my favorite figure of the year, I, I think I can say, because I just had a ton of fun of, uh, with this figure, and you know, I have a destroyed Iron Man helmet, you know, that he's standing on. I think that he's got so much character in him that I absolutely love it. Uh, definitely a figure that I think is a little underrated. I would highly recommend people buy it, as long as you're okay buying a figure that, um, that character was a little, uh, not so loved in the movie, but overall the figure wise is great and I have to say definitely deserves that number one spot on my list. Alright, so that's my video ranking my Hot Toys that I purchased in 2014 from my least favorite to all the way to my favorite. Like I said, these are my personal choices. I really enjoyed a lot of the Hot Toys this year. I'm very much looking forward to Hot Toys next year. A bunch have been shown and uh, I just cannot wait to get them. I got a bunch on pre-order of course. So yeah, so tell me guys which ones you agree with me on, which ones you disagree with me on, and uh, which ones you got and which ones you didn't. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Uh, like I said as well, I did pick up Whiplash, um, uh, Two-Face, I made a custom iron... Um, uh, uh, or sorry, a custom Obadiah Stain, and I did also get the uh, Black Suited Spider-Man. All figures that were released before 2014, so of course I couldn't add them uh, to this 2014 list. I did enjoy them all very much, and um, very much looking forward to next year. My hope is every year that I do this, the the list gets bigger and bigger because I buy more and more. That's my hope, uh, or maybe that's what I'm fearing. I, I'm not quite sure yet. I have to say, but um, overall, really did enjoy the Hot Toys this year, and. I cannot wait to see the Hot Toys next year. So thanks so much for watching.